Hi everyone, Drecky here, and today I'm reviewing the Veckel Mini 0906 Dual Lens Dash Cam. A while ago, I posted a video about how inexpensive dual lens dash cams were not worth it, because for the price, you can generally get better quality video from two separate cameras. However, this Veckel camera seems like it could be a good solution to that problem, since it features two 1080p streams, and both cameras have Sony sensors, so the video quality should theoretically be pretty good. I forgot my unboxing video, I'm not sure where it went, so since the camera is hardwired into my car, we're going to skip that and just jump straight into the video quality. Let's talk first about the front facing camera. Since this is based on a 1080p Sony sensor, the front facing camera can do either 1080p at 60 frames per second when it's the only camera recording, or 1080p at 30 frames per second when recording in conjunction with the back camera. Video during the day is quite good. There is lots of detail and license plates are legible on cars that are immediately adjacent or in front of you. Cars that are two lanes over are harder to read and in most cases you will not be able to read a license plate from them. But when the car is in the lane next to you, as long as it's bright enough out and the cars aren't going too fast, you should be able to read the license plate from the front facing camera. Colors are accurate and pleasing and exposure is on point. The dynamic range also seems pretty broad, meaning that bright highlights and dark shadows tend to hold more detail than other cameras in its price class. The kit I bought included a CPL filter, which just magnets onto the front of the camera, and that helps minimize glare off the windshield because this camera does hang a little bit farther back compared to cameras that are wedge-shaped like the A119. I really don't have any complaints about the daytime video from the front-facing camera. For 1080p, the quality is decent, even when compared to the A119. Obviously, there is more detail from the A119 since it has more resolution, but it is a little bit wider of an angle too, so the difference it makes really isn't that great. Look at this comparison here. You can see that the Veckel has more appealing color compared to the A119, which tends to balance a little bit warmer. However, you can see that the Mini 0906 has a little bit less detail due to the fact that it's 1080p. But the A119's color balance is a little bit off, and that makes it less visually appealing overall. The rear camera though has notably less detail overall than the front camera. I think it has to do with the quality of lens because I notice everything's just a little bit more hazy and a little bit less sharp. I'm not saying that it's bad, especially for a dual lens camera. Compared to most dual lens cameras in its price range which have a VGA backstream or a 720p backstream, the true 1080p stream makes it easier to read license plates. However, don't expect to read license plates farther than about 10 to 20 feet behind the car. Color from the rear camera is a little bit colder than the front camera, but for the most part, that doesn't make too much of a difference in terms of its actual operation or license plate legibility. What makes the big difference is how you mount it in the car. When I initially had the rear camera mounted, I had the camera lined up with some of those black defrost strips on my rear window and unfortunately they tend to get in the way of the video and make it harder to read license plates. Changing the way the camera was lined up really helped in terms of the sharpness, although like I said I feel like it's just slightly less sharp overall compared to the front facing camera. Again, not a huge issue, just something worth noting. At night in low light, the performance of the front facing camera is decent. It's a more sensitive image sensor than the rear facing camera, as well, it has a brighter lens than the rear facing camera, meaning that it captures more light. This is a good thing if you're going to be using the CPL filter, because having the CPL filter on cuts the amount of light that the lens will see in order to reduce reflections and glare. Compared to the A119, which is my main front facing camera, I found that the Mini 0906 was brighter in most situations. Under street lights and city lights, the camera performs fine, but out in the country where it's pitch black and you're just relying on headlights, don't expect to see too much. Also, don't expect to be able to read license plates at night unless the cars are completely stopped in front of you. All things considered, license plate readability is quite high from this camera, but introducing motion, for example driving quickly down the road, makes it harder to read license plates. The rear facing camera is a little bit more mixed performance. Rear facing cameras have a tough time at night because of the bright glare of headlights, and considering that, it does a decent job. At night, the rear camera is more to show what happened versus the specific license plate number or color of the vehicle that it happened with. 
so just keep that in mind it's very tough to read license plates from the rear facing camera unless of course the cars are right beside you and going around the same speed that you are Overall, the video quality is excellent, but I'm not immediately recommending this camera, and there is a big reason. Reliability. Buying a dash cam has so much possibility of buyer's remorse. Imagine you get your camera, it appears to be recording fine, you get in a car accident, and then go to get your video out of your camera, but there's nothing there. So buying a reliable camera is very important. I've only been using this camera for two months, but I ran into a couple of reliability issues that I haven't had with other cameras in the past. First of all, I noticed sometimes this camera would fail to finalize the last video file, leaving it corrupted and unplayable. Additional software was able to save the video and make it playable, but that didn't leave a good taste in my mouth, especially with what happened next. About a month into using this camera, it just stopped recording. I noticed that the camera would turn on, play the power on chime, and then freeze. And it would do this with every single memory card I had, not just the one that I was using before. Unfortunately, if I wasn't paying attention, I would have heard that chime with the camera turning on and believed it was recording, so thankfully I didn't get into any incidents while this happened, but that, again, didn't leave me with a very good feeling. Eventually, I was able to get it to read a memory card and update the firmware, and since the firmware update, I haven't been having issues with files not being recorded, nor have I been having issues with it freezing. So maybe they fixed both of these things in the firmware updates, but maybe not. I've only been driving with it for one month after that happened, so it's hard to say. But the mini cameras haven't been the most reliable in the past, so hopefully they've fixed that in the future. I chatted with a couple other people who are also reviewing this camera and they said that they haven't had these reliability issues, or if they had, they found solutions to them. For example, using a better power adapter and a high quality micro USB cable generally solved the problem of it failing to record the last file. Additionally, I am now using a faster memory card instead of my Transcend MLC memory card. I'm using one that has 60 megabit per second write instead of 20 megabit per second write. And since then, I haven't had issues with the files not being written successfully at the end. So I think that using a faster memory card will also solve that issue. If you do end up buying this camera, the video quality is very good, and the recent firmware update does seem to have solved the reliability issues. Just keep an eye on it to make sure that it is consistently recording. Check it maybe once a week or once every two weeks, just to ensure that you are getting the last file when the power is turned off, that the camera is recording everything successfully, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Hey everyone, Drakey here, and this is just an audio test of the Veckel Mini Dash Cam. Currently you're listening to the audio from the front camera. I'm driving down this road at about 70, km, about 70 kilometers per hour, and so it's not super loud in the car. Uh, let's see what the difference is between now and if I open the windows. All the way. All right, so same thing. This is the audio with the windows open. I'm willing to bet you'll be able to hear me a little bit less than before, but.